Welcome to Movie Time. Today I will show you a drama film from 2017, titled Gifted. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Frank Adler is telling his niece, Mary, Frank to get Adler ready is for telling school. his niece, he tells Mary, her that he is to get ready for school. Breakfast. He tells her that Mary he is, is making her a special brings breakfast. Up excuses. Mary like is reluctant and brings up excuses. Cat. Like who will look Fred. after her monocular Frank tells her that Fred will be Fred. all right. Frank she tells her that Fred will be all right. She, was told she asks for the special Frank breakfast she was told about in Frank's cereal with shows her a box of Kellogg's cereal with special written on it to her dismay. Frank sees her off at the bus stand where Mary proceeds to go to school for the first time. Roberta, who is Frank's neighbor, his follows him she back to his house. Concern. She expresses her Mary concern regarding Mary attending school. She, Mary thinks, attending something school. Happen she thinks something Frank may happen to her. Later. Frank looks nervous. Mary is Later, Mary is at school and looks like she'd rather be anywhere but here. Anywhere her teacher, but here. Her teacher Bonnie, Bonnie, wanders, Bonnie, wanders around the class asking the children simple math problems. Mary looks at her and the rest of the class with disdain. As she, As she thinks, thinks Bonnie's questions, questions are simple. simple. Teacher, Teacher starts asking Mary comparatively complex questions. questions. Mary, Mary answers them easily, easily as the questions, as the questions get, more get more difficult, particularly when, when reaching multiplication. multiplication. Mary, Mary hesitates, hesitates for a bit, for a bit which, Bonnie takes which Bonnie takes as her cue to stop. After, after a few moments of silence, moments of silence Mary answers the multiplication question correctly. Bonnie grabs the calculator to check. It's correct. She feels perplexed and knows that Mary isn't just a regular kid. The principal, Miss Davis, is introduced to the first the, the, class the class treats her with respect. Her with. Mary, respect. Behaves Mary behaves rather casually and yells, and yells at Davis and Bonnie, and Bonnie to call Frank and, and tell him Frank to get, get her out of here. Later, Later that day, Frank shows up to pick up Frank Mary. Up Bonnie up has a word with him. Bonnie has she a tries to make him realize that make Mary isn't an ordinary child. Frank waves her off, telling her it's just the Jackal Trachtenberg method which Mary used to calculate the math questions which Bonnie asked in class. Bonnie says Mary is only seven, to which Frank responds that he learned the same method when he, he was the same method when he meeting was it isn't a big deal. Meeting Bonnie later searches up the Jackal Trachtenberg method, method and looks feeling quite impressed. Feeling quite Frank impressed. is working Frank on a boat. Mary, on Mary boat. asks him if they can take the boat for a test drive. They spend time, they spend time together, together at the beach. At the they beach. converse they about different things. things. And Frank and tells Mary that her mother would want her to make friends. Mary brings Fred to school and shows him to her classmates. She tells them he has only one eye. The kids ask her, how did he lose his eye? Mary responds saying, she doesn't know she about, doesn't that, know about that, because that because she found him like this in the trash, in a way. way. Rescued, Rescued him. Him. Bonnie grows Bonnie closer, closer to Mary. To Mary. She, hands she hands her additional, her additional homework, homework, knowing she'd finish her work she'd finish quicker, her than, work. Most quicker than most Mary students. Mary smiles at Bonnie, Bonnie, and Bonnie returns her smile returns with an affection, with an one affection. of her own. One they bond well in class. Bonnie searches more about the Adler family, first looking into Frank Adler's details, but her search does not yield any fruitful results. She ends up reading about Frank's sister Diane Adler. Diane is a child prodigy, excellent at mathematics, mid-professor Seymour Shanklin, Calls her exceptional, Seymour Shanklin, saying she has an exceptional mind, a mind exquisite. that could help the world. Mind, As Bonnie reads further, she As finds Bonnie out that Diane further. ended. Herself she age 27, she left behind a daughter named Mary with her brother. Frank. Bonnie shows up to meet Frank at their local bar. Frank opens up to her. He tells her that he. Frank was running late for a date when Diane showed up unannounced at his place with a baby Mary. She, she told Frank she needed to talk to him. Frank dismissed her saying he'll listen to her when Frank dismissed back from his date. That night, when he returned home, he found Mary on the couch and Diane. Bathroom floor. Though it isn't entirely his fault, he still thinks he should have known. Bonnie asks about any other family members. Frank replies that Mary's biological father didn't last. A month, he abandoned Diane. His mother is very strict. His she is an uncompromising is woman. She is British an uncompromising through and through. Woman. Mary British is on the bus through. to school. Mary is she on the bus notices school. her classmate she climbing the bus, holding a well-made project. She feels concerned at first, thinking that her project isn't good enough. The little boy is trying to make his way. A 12-year-old bully making the poor boy trip and break his work. The bully along with the rest of the kids start laughing and teasing Mary comes to his rescue and tells the kids to stop. She hits the bully in the face with a book. Frank is later walking into Mary's Frank is school later as he walking passes into by the bully, who is bleeding from his nose. Who is he immediately checks up on Mary, making sure that she's all right. The principal, sure Davis, right. makes the Frank principal, understand that beating people Davis up isn't allowed. Frank, understand that Frank tells her that he'll make sure Frank Mary understands that, that he'll make though sure he's proud of her for standing up to A. 
bully. So principal says she would like to have Mary study at the Oaks Academy for gifted education, where she can be educated at a level that matches her capabilities. Frank brings up financial concerns. She guarantees a full ride scholarship for Mary. Frank turns off or down, saying that Mary should be treated like a normal kid and sent to a regular school. Bonnie asks him if he is sure about his decision, to which he says he doesn't know. Mary apologizes to her classmates for her behavior. She and the rest of the class applaud Justin, she the little boy who is her classmate, Justin. telling him that his zoo the was the best art project. Classmate. Frank and Mary reach home to find her grandmother, Evelyn waiting at their doorstep. Evelyn brings her a fancy laptop with a book about advanced algebra by Charles Mary tells her with disinterest that she has already read the book and is now covering differential equations. Frank makes her thank Evelyn. Evelyn is not satisfied with Frank's living conditions and calls him out for Frank and Evelyn meet for lunch. She says she is concerned for Mary and wants her to live in a better environment. She warns Frank that authorities will be involved. Frank tells her that Diane would not want her to have custody of Mary. Evelyn calls. Mary's mother Diane and Frank leave. She subtly tells him that this matter is going to court. Frank and Mary hang out together. She asks him questions about Dodd and Faith. He says he has his own opinion, which could be wrong. So he does not have the right to spoil. Her opinion, so he does not have Mary mentions sport. Roberta. Her he says that Mary Roberta has faith Roberta. and she he loves her very Roberta much. He tells her that he knows that everyone will end up together and that's what matters in the end. Roberta proves that she cares deeply Roberta for them by appearing in court to assist Frank in obtaining custody of Mary against his mother. It becomes clear that Evelyn plans to take Mary with her too. Massachusetts, Frank wants her to stay with him. Later, Frank asks Roberta to watch Mary for them. Night, Roberta agrees, mentioning that she is just a neighbor and not a blood. Relative or someone whose opinion would be valued, but Relative she loves Mary very much. Mary valid. spends the night at Roberta's, singing with her and Mary having a great the time. Night at Bonnie and Frank meet at the bar. She explains, she explains to him that it was not her who leaked the information. To Davis, they get closer over drinks and have interesting conversations. Bonnie tells him that she cannot afford to be intimate with him, but eventually they spend the night together. Mary is searching for a DVD at Frank's place. She finds Bonnie sneaking out of Frank's room and gets cheeky about it. Frank finds Finds out about room this and gets cheeky about frustrated, Frank saying he can't have his own life for even some time. She gets upset and leaves. Later, Frank apologizes to Mary and they reconcile. Roberta is slamming Frank for his irresponsible behavior as he checks his mail outside and finds out that Mary is going to be spending two days in Boston with her grandmother. When Mary visits Boston with her grandmother, she sees family photos, including pictures of her mother and grandmother when she was young. Back in Florida, Bonnie and Frank become even closer. Evelyn takes Mary to university and, and tells her about the seven millennium problems. Mary is shown a picture of Gregory Perelman who worked on the point of conjecture. Evelyn reminisces how Diane could have also been on it and had her picture up on the wall if she had finished solving The Navier Stokes equation. Mary expresses her wish to be featured on the wall someday as well. She is handed a difficult equation to solve by Professor Shanklin. After noticing that she is unable to solve it for quite some time, he tells Evelyn maybe Mary is that capable after all. Evelyn is walking Evelyn furiously with her, regretting coming to Shanklin in the first place when Mary tells her that the equation was wrong and hence unsolvable. They head back to Shanklin and the equation is corrected by Mary. She solves it till the end, leaving Shanklin feeling overwhelmed. When they are back home, Mary tells Frank that although Evelyn is nice, she does not want to live with her. He promises her that she will not go anywhere. Mary meets a social worker who asks her different questions about her life. Mary mentions watching Ultimate Fighting with Frank. She also tells her that he promised to keep her around and that he's a good guy. Had asked her why she thinks to keep her around. To which she responds that Frank wanted her since the beginning. Irrespective of her smartness, Mary's biological father is brought to court. He wants Evelyn to have Mary's custody. Mary's father is embarrassed by Frank's attorney, who makes him realize that he doesn't even know him. Daughter's middle name and he has never seen her in real life. Frank wins this round in court. He walks her to her car. She tells him that she doesn't like being at odds with her son. Frank says they've always been at odds. Mary locks herself and cries hysterically because. 
Her deadbeat father does not come to see her while he is in town. Later, Frank drives to the hospital with Mary and Roberta. They wait together for the birth of a baby boy. Frank tells Mary that she was born just like this and that everyone was ecstatic about her birth. He tells her that he broke news of Mary's birth to everyone. Mary celebrates happily with the families in the hospital. Later, when Evelyn testifies in court, Frank's attorney notices her reference towards baseball. He and Evelyn engage in a heated discussion regarding Diane never being allowed to do anything except for studying mathematics. She never played sports or lived a normal life. Frank's attorney mentions Paul, Diane's first love at 17. Paul and Diane ran away to a resort in Vermont for skiing. He antagonizes Evelyn for filing a lawsuit against her. Kidnapping charges and making Diane distraught leading to her attempted self-killing in 1999. Evelyn insists that it was nothing major and that she tried her best to be a good mother to Diane. Frank testifies and says he is a freelancer. He repairs boats. Evelyn's attorney brings up concerns regarding Mary's health care. Regarding education and life. Frank education insists that he wants her to live Frank like a normal kid. That he the attorney like also brings up how Mary assaulted the kid bully in school and how he wants to assault a man. Frank says it was self-defense against a drunk man in a bar and admits spending a night in jail because of the incident. Later that evening, Frank's attorney suggests handing Mary over to a foster family temporarily. When she turns 12, she can make a decision in court regarding her living situation. The foster family resides in Tampa. Frank can visit her easily as it's Frank only 30 minutes away. Evelyn would get visiting away. rights too, Evelyn would feeling out of options. Too. He sends Mary of off to live in he Tampa. Sends Mary she doesn't off take it easy. Tampa. She, she doesn't take it begs. easy. Frank not she to leave her alone, begs. reminding him that he promised he wouldn't leave her. Roberta and Frank grieve over Mary's absence. Later, Frank tells Bonnie that he thought about handing Mary over to child services many times, but could never let her go. He blames himself for the mess. He tries to visit Mary, but is told by the foster father that she doesn't want to see him. Frank is heartbroken. Roberta comforts him. Bonnie notices a poster of adoptable pets with Fred's picture on it. She sends it to Frank, who frantically drives Frank, over to animal services and manages to, to save Fred along with two other cats. To save Fred Evelyn is the one who put Fred up for adoption in the first place. Frank and Roberta rush to visit Frank Mary and succeed in getting her back when Frank shows. Evelyn, the documents proving that Diane did in fact finish the proof for the Navy or Stokes. Equation. He tells Evelyn that Diane wanted this to be published after her mother's death, meaning Evelyn did suppress Diane's wishes. Frank and Mary end up reconciling more than happy to be together as they drive off with Roberta. Evelyn looks at the tear-stained notes with doodles sketched on them and starts crying. She calls Mitt and gets in contact with Shank. Mary attends university, after which Frank picks her up. They talk in the car. He hands her a book by Renée Descartes about existence. She jokes with him about it. Frank drops her off at the park where she joins other girls. Scouts and plays with them happily. Frank smiles warmly in the distance and bonds. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.